Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on a classic mini. Not my mini and not in this workshop either. So, Jackman, as you've probably got to know a little bit with the Volvo 244 or Rossberg or that car that should definitely not be on the road. Um, yeah, he has a classic mini as well. If you've not noticed in some of the um, shots, there's a classic mini in the background. A lovely Speedwell blue on a white roof. So, he's leading up to his MOT and he has noticed one big problem, very big problem. I'm gonna hand you over to Jackman now. So check out his footage of this absolutely awesome repair done in your back garden slash driveway-ish. Perfect Simpsons classic style repair there. So I had to bring it along for you guys. Thank you very much Jackman for, for filming it and uh, sending it over to me. And uh, yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy. And it's proof guys, nothing's too hard to sort. Check this out. Welcome to a Bankology project. Doing some MOT checks on my mini. Um, this bracket fell off. So it's had a hole here for a few years now. But as you can see, it's finally gone all the way through. So I'm going to basically repair this on the bank holiday weekend. So today is Sunday finish it off Monday and then it should be good. This has now been cleaned up and marked out where we need to make the cut. So that cut's going to go take this corner completely off. Um, as you can also see in the previous video, this piece has been removed, which is on the back here. So you can see where all the rust is in here. So that cut will be below where I've cut the support out. but should still be enough metal so let's get cutting
got the piece that's now been cut out. So this now needs to be replicated into this piece. So I'm going to start hammering it to get these lips in. Then I can work out the actual curve on it. I don't know if you pick it up on camera, but there is a slight curve. So I'll get cracking with that. So first test fit on the car and use these into grips, which are available from Frost to hold the panel in. As you can see, the gaps need adjusting here. I need to make the like radius of this sh sharper and the same at the bottom here. As soon as I do that and bend the lip a bit more, that should fit okay. This corner is going to need grinding back, but they need to be welded together anyway in this corner. Um, yes, it's proud here, but that's just because the actual lip is too big and it's pushing against the bodywork. If I actually force it, as you can see, it will radius correctly. So once I've finished all the trimming and re-radiusing these um, seams, sorry, these lips, it should fit okay. So, bring you back in after tack welding it on. This, when I've dried it back on, fits the car. I still need to adjust this gap once it's been welded and the actual length of the lip and the angle of it so it doesn't catch the bonnet but other than that I'm now going to get it tack welded on well more completely welded on now so I can start cleaning it up just need to take my time with it so I don't start putting too much heat into the panel and warping it I'm being watched by my cat while I do it so I must end up moving her somewhere safe Here it is, all nicely welded in place. Come and done some strengthening pieces behind it, just some bits were a bit thin. Um, just so when basically start grinding this side, there's a bit more metal on the other side where the gaps were a bit too big for a full weld. Um, so yeah, just now clean that back and go from there.
there we go. It's now being touched in, welded in, cleaned up. Um, there is a couple of low spots, like I can feel the one here. I'll be able to pick it up. Well, there's a slight high bit there. But skim a filler on that and it should come out alright. Go and test fit it again on the car. And there we go. That's the fitment on the car now. Um, bear in mind that it's not actually on the bonnet hinges or anything like that. It's just put on the latch. So gaps needs cleaning up at the bottom but yeah I've not welded that corner in and then this lip needs to be bent round correctly but the strengthening piece isn't in either and like Mark has I also have an inspector so yeah it's come out well give it a coat of primer let it dry and start working on the strengthening plate so now I've got to make this plate. So, cut out this piece, which is wide enough once you've included all the edges and all the like angles on it. So, I'm going to put you on tire maps while I create this. Try and get in the same radius that the bend's in it, so I can then get it welded to the bonnet. So, I'll put on tire maps and get fabricating. This is the repair for that corner. Um, not the best work. It was very difficult to get this slip here on both sides correct. Um, it's a very small radius and I don't have any tools which will allow me to do it. So I've got the best I can do. So what I'm going to do is push that into here, line that up so that's correct, weld that in and then using the hammer and dolly try and get this more aligned with that side and that lip so we can get it welded in this needs to be pushed down because it's spring looks like it got tension under it so push that to the skin on the underside before i weld it
here we go it's welded in it's definitely not my nicest work however it's actually it's in now and everything will be supported so I can now finish off this corner make sure it's all right in the on the car and go from there this is where I'm going to finish it off for the day so everything's welded on now and you can see the gaps are all right I need to bend the lip still but at least I know that it's got a nice gap down the front it sits out the same both sides but it's not even attached to the bonnet hinges yet so tomorrow I'll pick up again and I'll start doing the finishing so skim filler primer and then leave it for that welcome to day two where I need to put the filler on the panel to smooth it all out so you can just about see slightly high bits there and unfortunately some low points from where I put the clamps on underneath but a small skim of filler and let that dry and it should be good Is now on. Time to let it dry for about half hour and then I can sand it back and get it to match the contours fully. So it's all been sanded back now. Uh, there's a couple of pinholes in the primer, but all in all, it's come out quite nicely. I think this bit here is still low. I might need to put another slight skim of filler on that, but I'm going to put some high build primer on it, let that set and sand. Uh, so just so I can get a better idea of how it is. So I'll do that now and then see how it comes. Got the coat of primer on now. Can't really, I don't think it's picking it up on camera, but it's not a thick coat. But I can definitely see there's a low spot here. So I need to put skim filler on that. And then these pinholes here, which I definitely don't think will pick up on camera. They need a slight skim to fill those in. And then one final coat over. I'm going to see if I've got any black paint that I can give a dust coat on to see exactly where the low and high spots are. Right, so there's the second layer of filler done. It's a lot smoother now. It's not perfect, but I'm just it's just meant to be a repair. So I get a couple of coats of primer on it, sand that back and then put some paint on top of it and then attach it back to the car. There we go. Primer's now on. So that looks okay. Once it's dry, 
give it a sand back before the top coat goes on. There's a couple of runs in it but it's high build primer so it's designed to fill up pores anyway. So the quick sand back and it should look good for top coat. So it's now painted in the top coat. Yes, it doesn't match the actual car colour but that's because the paint's so faded I can't get a match for it anymore even using the original colour code so this one will do the main reason is um, primer can be porous so I'm going to give it a quick wet and dry back to clean up the area and then go back on the car apparently I didn't start my time lapse well, um, but I've just stopped because I've accidentally gone through the paint there so I need to give that a quick spray in that corner to get that back and then I can finish it off, it's come out really well when you look at it it is still high here, ever so slightly but it was never going to be a concourse job so yeah, I'll go and touch that bit in and then sand it down again so here we go, it's now attached to the car can't really tell anything and if we close the bonnet, the latch, there we go. the latch is fixed, close it, and wouldn't really notice. Like this bonnet is further up here on this side compared to this side, it's a bit close, like in that, but that's because this hinge is broken so you have to have the studs screwed, um, drilled out and reattached so they're not perfectly aligned so there we go so it's doing a bank holiday weekend fix your car